gaming, a piece of modern art and a rapidly growing form of entertainment. Like any entertainment medium, it has its own share of debates and controversies. And rarely the posters of gaming are ever covered by the media. I guess titles like, can gaming teach kids empathy? New study says yes, it's just as not as sensational as can ga video games cause violence. And whenever we think about gaming, the perce perception is that gaming makes us antisocial, it alienates us. And that may not all be true. Today, I'm here to give you the other side of it. I, for one, am an avid gamer and I love gaming. In fact, gaming can become some of the most social activity you can do and have some of the best bonding experiences you can have. For me, my fondest memories were of when I was eight years old. I remember me playing Mario on the Nintendo system with my dad. My dad, who's very busy, would take the time off, come sit and play with me. I remember me playing two players with him and just being so bad at it, I died a lot trying to jump over the enemies or just being awful at the timing. Nonetheless, I enjoyed every second of it. And my mom would see us playing, having fun. We all had a huge smile plastered on our faces. It was some of the best family bonding experiences. Later, as I grew up, I got a younger brother. He's five years younger than me. He's extremely talented and smart. I love my younger brother, but like any siblings, we often quarreled with each other. Be it who gets, to work, who gets the remote or who gets to pick what channel, or who gets to get the chocolate. You know, just the usual sibling stuff. Then we got a PlayStation and our fights became on screen virtual. And me being the elder one, I always beat him out in every game. And he would just rage quit, throw the controller down and just walk away. This continued on for a bit and he wasn't having fun, so he stopped playing with me eventually. And I started to miss the time playing together with my brother. I found out that just playing by myself wasn't just fun and it was becoming rather stale. That's when I learned winning isn't everything in life. In fact, sometimes losing can gain you a lot more. And I started to purposefully lose to my brother. This made him so happy. It and I was happy seeing him, seeing him so happy. And it didn't even matter in the end that who won or who lost, but we brothers just had the time of our lives. Ah, so many memories, but so many <laughs> broken controllers too. This, and this has brought us closer to each other in many ways. And today, I play a game called Path of Exile. I've been playing it since 2013. So it's a massive multiplayer online role-playing game, meaning gamers like myself across the world sitting in front of their computer connected through the internet. We'd be chatting over the voice, just going on these massive adventures, slaying mythological beings, just having a blast. And over the course of time, I've made many good friends and I met many people. And they are some of the most wholesome true to themselves people I have ever met. And I, I met a guy from US, a girl from Germany, another from Australia. They are some of my closest friends and we known each other for five years and counting. We would just spend a hours talking with each other over voice, just a bunch of friends, chilling, having snacks, just going on these adventures, having fun together. We would share about everything. We'd, share information from science to culture. For example, I was brought up in a very traditional Indian family way and my worldview was very limited to what I've seen or heard from my immediate surroundings. After I met these guys, my worldview was shattered. My mind was open and I started to open myself to new, interesting and different ideas. And it's not just about we playing games together. We would also share our life experiences. It was these guys who were with me when I was at my lowest, going through a tough time during the undergraduate. These guys held me together. They helped me be grounded. And I'm truly grateful that I met them. Truly, gaming is weird in that you get to make friends with people you have never ever met from the most unlikely of places. You, and most of you might go, but you never met them. How can you consider them as a friend? How can you trust them? 
that's the interesting aspect of it and that's the beauty of it there are many researchers showing once we play a game with someone we tend to like them more even if that someone has beaten us in that game because to play a game with someone it involves a lot of trust trust that they will spend their time together value the same goals and play by the same rules this builds bonds this brings people closer together look i'm not saying gaming days in and days out is good for you binging is not good for you be it watching movies tvs or heck even reading books can get bad but gaming for me has helped me build bonds trust and friendship gaming is a tool and like any tool it is up to the user on how you use it and gaming is all around us from the big budget games to the small budget ones like angry birds or pubg on your mobile so it's here to stay let's make it a positive experience for everyone go have a round with your friends or better yet if you are a parent go have a round with your kids thank you good luck and have fun everyone